Welcome back, this is Yamba Jack, and that's today we got Kame House Gunslinger Survival. Hell on Earth. That's the word. That's the word. We gotta we gotta prestige soon too. Cause we're uh, we've we've been we've been at this twenty-five like three prestige or four prestige or whatever. For uh, for too long. It's time to get uh, the final prestige of Gunslinger. I just don't want it because you get you get nerfed so badly. It takes such a big hit to your your convenience in this game when you when you prestige. But I mean, I gotta do it eventually, right? We don't have to, but I like I like Gunslinger the most. It's one that I really want to have uh, the gold prestige on. If I'm gonna have anything gold prestige, it'll it'll have to be Gunslinger. So. We'll have to move down the difficulty when we do, because I don't think I can do Hell on Earth as, as Gunslinger without... Uh, like, I'm barely capable of doing Hell on Earth uh, with level 25 Gunslinger, you know? Let alone without uh, without all the, the buffs you get from from Gunslinger. We'll do, like, probably like a, an endless run, maybe, or something like that to start it off. Start on uh, normal and uh, boost it up a little bit that way. We'll do endless on like a normal map. We're not gonna do it on like a cheese map, but probably probably an endless one. Cause the, the thing is, is um, you just, you just it just feels bad. <laughs> it feels bad when you're not leveled up. You know, can't really prestige from here. Otherwise, I would. I would do it, but I can't. Trust me, I would. I would, uh, I would do it. I, I have the, I have the impulse right now, you know. It's like, it's like impulse buying, but impulse prestiging. Do you guys impulse buy? You go out somewhere and you see like, uh, really cool watch or something, and you're like, oh, that's, that's a really cool watch. I really, really want that watch. I'm gonna buy that watch. You guys do that? You shouldn't. <laughs> if you, if you do that, then. Uh, well, you, you either should stop that, or uh, you have a lot of money. So that's a problem that a lot of people have, though, right? But they can't like uh, stop themselves from buying something. Cause like uh, one of my friends, actually, when I was growing up, he would. Uh, I'd always tell him to like save his money, right? He'd be like, well, what am I saving for? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't have any bills or anything like that. Well, you save for when you do have the bills, dummy. Um, if you're gonna have bills eventually. I didn't. I didn't really save either, very much. But um, you know, when I wanted to save up for something, I would. Uh, I'd put money away. Right. This is going really poorly. Uh huh. I can't hear anything because of. Uh, Hold up. So he always, he always asks me like, why am I? Why? Why should I save? Why should I save? Right? Because he wouldn't. He wouldn't get it. So whenever we went out somewhere, something like that, he'd he'd have you know, eight hundred, nine hundred dollars in his account. We were like fifteen or sixteen at the time, right? Um. So we'd have like fifteen hundred or like uh, nine hundred dollars in his account or whatever, and uh, he would he would be like, okay, that's how much I can spend, right? So you, you go out somewhere and you, you see, uh, okay, cool. You see, uh, like, a, a thing that you like and you just buy it because you have $900 and that's how much you can spend. So if you see something and it's under that amount, then you buy it, right? Like that's, that's, I think that that's kind of how it works. So it's, uh, you know, you gotta, you gotta learn that, uh, and I wish I learned this earlier because it's, it's super, super important to know. But, uh, you know, if you, if you always spend all the money you have, then you're never going to be able to buy the more expensive things, right? Like, you're never going to get a car. You're never going to get a new computer. You're never going to get, you know, this or that. Because you're always spending the money when you get it. Even if even if you might be feeling like you're living a great life, you could be doing a better life if, if you saved up and invested that into your, uh, your future or whatever, right? But uh, as, as kids, you don't... <laughs> I don't know. You don't. You don't. You don't get it, right? I uh, when I was working at uh, Tim Hortons, 
I was 12 or 13, and we had one of those regular customers who'd come in, and he'd always tell me to make sure that I was putting away like 15% of my paychecks into a into a savings account or something like that. And every now and then, I, th I think about this guy, right? And I think about how much money I made at that job. And I think about how much 15% of all that money would be. Because I made, I don't know. I mean, from 12 years old till like 18? Maybe 19? I can't remember when I uh, when I quit. But uh, it was it was it was quite some quite some time, right? And uh, I did like 20 hours a week every week. So that's you know ending up being like rough rough estimate here. Probably like fifty thousand dollars or something like that. And it's like I just I think about that that incredible amount of money. And then where where what, how did I possibly spend it? How did I possibly spend it? You know, like where where to go? Where where to go? And uh, you know, mostly food and coffees and garbage. But uh, yeah, I think about like 15% of that, and even more than that. Like if I put away like 50% of it, like I still would have been living a pretty comfortable life for you know a 15-year-old making like 10 grand a year. Because I worked, uh, I worked 20 hours a week, right? 2 to 10, Saturday and Sunday. So it's like, if I put away like half of that every year, I'd, I'd be laughing right now, right? Can't go back and change it, so I don't, it's not like I regret not having put it away, but it's just like, I look back on it and I'm like, why did I think that like a new bike that I'm basically never going to use was more important than just having money. <laughs> you know, you don't, uh, you don't, you don't, you don't get it as a, as a as a kid. But every now and then I think about that uh, that guy who always who would, he'd come in every now and then and he'd, uh, he'd he'd tell me again like, hey, make sure you're putting away part of your paycheck every uh, every every paycheck. I never did, not once. Not a single time, and uh, you know, here I am, 25 years old, living at uh, living at my parents' house because I can't afford to move. If I did, I'd be able to like go buy a house or something like that, right? Like I'd be I'd be doing I'd be doing gangbusters right now, but I didn't I didn't do that. So such is life. Such is life. It's okay. You know, it's fine. I'm still moving out, uh, hopefully, next year. I mean, if, if uh, the YouTube stuff goes well, then soon, right? The sooner the YouTube stuff goes well, the sooner I get to move out, really. Um, otherwise, you know, I have to find a job and pull back on YouTube, but... Hopefully, uh, hopefully it goes well. I'd like to move out soon. It's not that bad, anyway, right? Like, I don't really like living here <laughs> at all. But... You know, bottom line, I, I it's fine. Bottom line is it's fine. But uh, yeah, I, I, every now and then I just think about that guy, and I'm like, yeah, he was totally right. You know, totally, hundred percent right. And as a kid, I was just like, what do you know, dude? I make so much money, I don't need to save. I can just pay for everything with my paycheck. You know, you know, you know, you don't have the, the right. Uh, Understanding of uh, of money, you don't uh, you don't value it enough. Thousand dollars if you make a thousand dollars every month is nothing. You just wait a month and you got another thousand dollars. So what, your rent's five hundred dollars, whatever, dude. That's that's like a week. Or I don't know, something like that. Two weeks? Yeah, two weeks. You know, whatever. But. Uh, yeah, you don't, you don't, you don't know all these, uh, these other things that, that you learn as an adult. So I, I still see kids, and I'm like, now I'm that person, right? Now I'm that person who's like, hey, make sure you're putting away your money, because uh, I didn't, and uh, didn't mess up my life, but like, you know, if I did it, I'd be more comfortable right now. That's for sure. 
but you know, you're kids. You can't you can't always make the right decision as kids. I'm sure that to, to all of the, especially to that guy, just just seeing every every time he'd come in and me just like ignoring him and not having this money put away, it's just like it, how infuriating it, how infuriating it would be for him <laughs> to, to 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 know like this kid is like 12 years old. They have a job. They're making like more than enough money to be able to put that away and then like retire really really early right like you're doing you're doing totally fine like you're gonna have a perfect life if you just do it right from right now right you put that money away and and uh, he just sees me you know buying all this nonsense stuff that I don't even have like now like where'd all that money go it's garbage basically um, but it'd be so infuriating to just just to just see the and you know it's like I couldn't be the only kid that he was he was telling that to either, right? Because like we had a lot of kids uh, at uh, at that job, and you know I'm probably not the only place in the world that has uh, or in the area that has uh, kids working at it, right? So you think about like all the other places that uh, that have kids that he goes to or whatever, and how many kids he's telling this to, and how many of them are actually listening? Probably not many, right? Because you're a kid. You, you just, you can't, you, you, your brain isn't developed enough to understand it. So, it'd be so infuriating. So just to just see like, how well it could go and then to, to not make it work. For me as, as the person who did it, I'm like, I don't know. I had a, uh, because of that I got to buy a lot of things and have a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, I don't think it was necessarily a fair trade, but it wasn't really the worst trade in the history of ever, right? Like, there's there's been worse. Um, so it's not it's not that bad, but it's definitely like, man. Eh. I just I just put away my money. It's okay though. It's okay. I'm doing fine now. It's just, it's just, uh, it just delays the, uh, the stuff, right? It doesn't necessarily prevent you from getting it, it just delays it. Right, if I started when I was 12 instead of when I was 22, then I would have been done in 10 years earlier, right? That's all. 10 years ain't that bad. 10 years ain't that bad. Come on, don't do that to me. No! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alrighty. Dump all that money everywhere. That's the wrong button. Sure, let's throw the grenades too. Why not, right? Alright, that's gonna do it for today though. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like, subscribe to see more in the future, comment, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.